my hope is centered in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, who the Bible says is going to come back someday and straighten the whole mess out. That's our hope in Christ. Yes, he's coming back. Next time, not as the little baby of Bethlehem, but as the mighty King of kings and Lord of lords. And he himself said, He's coming back to intervene in history to save the world from destroying itself because God loves the world. And he's going to come in judgment and he's going to rule. He'll be the ruler. The future ruler of the world is not capitalism or communism. It's Christ. He's the one that's going to rule. He's king of kings and lord of lords. And you know what the scripture says about it? It says, comfort one another with these words. Now, we don't have much comfort today. The fact of Christ coming back should be of great comfort to every believer in the world. We've got a hope. We've got an eschatology. We've got a program. We've got a future. The future belongs to us. We're on the winning side. Let's comfort each other with those words. And you know, I've gotten in the habit of going to bed at night and thinking just before I go to bed, what if he should come tonight? I wake up in the morning, and in the morning, one of the first thoughts I have, I wonder if he's going to come today. Oh, I'd like to see him come. What a day that's going to be. All of our aches and pains are going to be behind us. All of our tears are going to be behind us. All of our problems are going to be solved. What a day that's going to be. And Jesus is going to rule. And the problems, the social problems that we're wrestling with and battling with now, trying to patch them up and solve them as best we can, they're all going to be totally solved. The race problem will be solved. The poverty problem will be solved. The war problem will be solved. There'll be no more war. What a day that's going to be when we stand with him in eternity.